And um, we're back for another episode. In this episode, I'm going to be unlocking Rogue. So you need to come to 816 in Lower Lenza Laminza right here and talk to Lon Wode. And we can see how this starts. So let's see. So there's no behind these convent doors for a worldly type like you, Mrs. Where the dutiful sisters of the Eldwiss are all pure and saintly like um, now bugger off <laughs> uh, hang about ain't you that lass that goes by the name of Mifri? Yeah. so hey I knew it something about Millen primals leaves this mark on a person it does anyway you've been you being who you are you must be have an inkling as to what goes on here the Admiral sent you to meet with one of me associates after that business with Leviathan, if you recall. That's right, lass. You stand at the entrance to the Rogues Guild. Of course, it would be the poor sort of underground organization if we put a bleeding sign up on the front door. Anyway, from what Lady Agree told me, you're pretty handy in a scrap. She's off seeing to... Uh, some private business right now, but I reckon we might have some use for a prime lass like you If you're interested in joining us tip us your daddy's Daddles <laughs> and we'll put a hilt in each one just like the gods intended. So what do you say you fancy learning a new trade? Okay, join the Rose Guild. Yeah, why not? So good to see you're keen, but I should probably warn you on a few points before you dive in where most guilds take pride in turning their members into the best bloody candlestick makers they can be, we only care about getting the job done. And the jobs ain't pretty. You bec become one of us and you'll be soon neck deep in scum and knives fight. So if you're looking to scamper across rooftops and blink dandles off their blunt, you'll best take up a different crew. Think on and that and come back if you're still keen. Okay, I'm back. So, my first daggers. So it says, Lon Ward would have you reaffirm your desire to join the Rose Guild. And we'll get our level 1 daggers to change class. So, I didn't scare you off then. Uh, Bine, they told me you was a metalsome lass. And so it's proved. You'll need every ounce of that metal soon enough. Now step inside and have a prattle with Jackal. He's a, our upright man, the master of the guild. You may now freely enter the rogues guild, speak with Loan whenever you wish to gain admittance to the guild headquarters. Interesting. So let's talk to him now. You're heading inside. Yes, we are. Jesus. Figures that's be so many people here. So let's talk to the guildmaster, Jack. Everyone wants to be the top ninja on the server. So I'm I'm the one they call Jack, so I'm surprised you've heard of me. Perhaps you'd be good enough to tell me your name, along with that old kindly cove as you told mine. As you told mine? I really hate the Lamentum dialect. Ah, the famous Mifri. Oh, Lonnie left patch let you win, did he? Uh, hmm, he can't throw a blade for shy, but that one eye don't miss naught when it comes to sizing up a dimmer mort for the stalling. Just one thing, you ain't a pirate, are you? Well then, it's time we... You you was stalled to the rogue. Uh, pull on your best beta cases and I'll swear you're in myself when you're ready. Now, I could fill your wattles with the storied history of our guild, but that's just wilds and wind. The most important thing, the only thing we care about is getting the job done. Now, most folk, and I'm assuming you're among them, know that not long after the Limsa's founding, the city was overrun by a motley collection of pirates and thieves. But as wild as that lot were, it soon became clear that they'd all 
end up killing each other if they didn't lay down a few rules, an unspoken code of conduct as it were. One, you don't bite the purses of your fellow Lamincens. Two, you don't rook a crew out of their spoils. And three, you don't trade coals like they was cattle. I'll admit the finer points of the code are a might murky, but most agree on those three at least. Now, you might be thinking none of the amounts to a sack of Dilbreeze now that the Admiral's outlawed piracy, but in the back of in the back alleys and the black markets where Marleb's grip ain't so tight, the code's st still alive and well. Just as the law is enforced by the Yellow Jackets, the code is regulated by us rogues. We go where the shadows are the darkest and hide out, hand out justice to them as break the code. And some rum soaked cove steals good from the wrong cull, and we steal them back. That's the job, my, my natty lass. Of course, we don't hop the twig when blade work's called for, neither. You'll see there's more to our dagger play than just sticking coals with the pointy end. We'll be weaker, well, sorry, we'll weaken a mark with poison, fade away and strike in the dark muns, whatever it takes to get the work done. Well, Mifri, what do you say to that? Got the guts to do a rogue's job? Yes, I do. So, all right then, first off, we'll have to get your kit sorted out. A rogue needs to be light on her dew beaters to stay on a mark's trail. The job might have you fighting across a deck of we or weaving through a mob. And the last thing you want is a bleeding great battle axe what hooks itself on every rope and post. That's why we stick to daggers. They let you slip through the streets just as easily as they slip through a rook's ribs. Here, take these stabbers and let's see how they look on you. Just don't get too excited with your new toys that you forgot to dress for the role. You'd be surprised how many cults come back to me in their bloody small clothes. Okay, complete. So he's obviously saying, wear clothes when you leave. <laughs> Rogue is now unlocked. And naturally, whenever they unlock a new job or a new class for you, they increase the number of um, equipment, uh, well, gear sets that you can create, just so that it makes it easier to manage. So if I was to now equip my daggers, there you go, item level naught. So let me save this set of gear. I'm now rogue, so I'll put it down here. So yeah, rogue class, how about that? So, I'm now naked. Uh -huh. So anyway, let's uh, talk to Jack. So the next quest, stabbers and your fambles. Jack wishes to give you a few pointers on dagger play. Manage to strap those daggers on without cutting yourself. Well, we're off to a good start, I'd say. Next, you'll want to feel for the weight of and speed of your new weapons. I reckon those bleeding cheats in the fields outside Limsa Laminza should serve you for your first lesson. Uh, I best test your blaze on a few of them lambs and slice up some rats and poogles for good measure. Mind that you'll sorry, mind that you mill them beasties one at a time, though, lass. I know we've. You've served far worse in the past, but you're no dimmer dammer with them stabbers just yet. Cool, so the quest is basically go out and kill some mobs. So I'm going to do that now, just for the sake of it. And I'm also going to go and wear some equipment, rather, so I don't have Mifri running around naked everywhere. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to teleport to my inn and pick up some PvP gear. Because one items to remember, which you may be like me, haven't used in a very long time, are things like the Mog Cap, because it will give you a 20% EXP bonus up until I think level 20 or something, which is pretty much what everyone else is wearing. So let me teleport to the in room. And 
let's see, first ability, spinning edge. So it says delivers an attack with a potency of 150. And if I look at my shared abilities, so I can share one ability, so I'm probably going to just share a uh, second win because it's always nice having a uh, self heal. And to be honest, I probably will be using it at level 50 anyway, so let me talk to the innkeeper. I just want to get some stuff out of my armoire because it will help a lot. Okay, so armoire. Remove an item. Seasonal achievement. It's not really achievement, is it? Nope, let's see. Exclusive items. So I've got the onion helm. I've got these ones. Item level. Yeah, why not? They have dexterity and strength and everything. These were really old items. These are from like the collector's edition of 1.0. So great. And then Moogle cap. Oh, sorry, 20% up until level 10. So I will use a Moogle cap because it's the one that has dexterity, whereas the Helm of Light has got strength and mind, and the Onion Helm has got vitality and piety. So Moogle cap it is. Let's see. I don't need those. Patriot Collar, don't need that. Earrings. Oh, Cactus Earrings. So one strength, one dex, one intellect, one mind. Why not? So not bad. A few items. Don't think there's anything else I can take. That would be any good. Hmm. Oh, some of these, this gear has got stats. Just checking what items I can use. That might be good. Strength, vitality, determination. Let's see. Yeah, a lot of these items I don't think would be any good anyway. Hmm. So maybe at level 13 I can use the lightning outfit. So I'm going to take those out. Just for giggles. Okay, I think that's basically it. Anything with stats, at least. Yeah, and these are not until level 30, so... Okay, so let's equip what I've got. Okay... Moogle, Mandagora, Choker. Could just wear it for style, I guess. Earrings. Yep, Cactus Earrings. I had the gloves, didn't I? Yes. There we are. It's our arm guards. So, what now I'm going to do, I'm going to run to a uh, vendor and just pick up the rest of the gear. Just so I'm not completely naked. Not unless I got it in my retainer. Oh, I've got it. Cool. So I'll wear that. Just so I don't have don't have to buy another set. I've already got it. And I did also save this gear set as well, which will be very good for me. The infantry set from. Brave Flock, so once I get to 32 plus, I'll be able to wear that. Let's see, is there any belts I can wear? Doesn't seem so. Let's see about accessories. Oh, I've got two cactus earrings. That's funny. I'm level 18, I guess. I'll keep it with me. Freedom, determination, why not? Okay, I think that'll do. So now I'm item level 3, way. 
Only 127 levels to go till Max Ninja. Now one thing I'm keeping very much in mind is that there isn't that much time until the expansion really, given that it's in spring. I mean it's still in theory up to half a year away, but um, that time will pass very fast, so I think patch 2.5 will come out a lot sooner than we think. And I think as well that the... Let's see, middle of Nosia, so I want to go out of the Zephyr Gate. Um, I think as well that the ability to upgrade your Poetics gear to item level 130 will happen in 2.5 with the last coil. That seems to be the logical um, progression. So that we can get to 130 and finish final coil before the expansion comes out. Now good things to know about the map. If it's an orange dot it means you need it for a quest. Okay, so let's kill this. Awesome. Not much to it, I guess. It's just one attack. The good thing in this game as well is that if you do enough damage, even if it's marked by someone else, you can get credit for it. Okay, so perfect dodge. Let's see, perfect dodge. Completely avoids the next attack. Duration 5 seconds. Cool. So we can use that in the future to dodge any big attack. As long as it's within 5 seconds. thing is as well that I've had re rest of the XP capped for like ever so the good thing in this game as well that once you have your chocobo even if it is on a level 20 you can't use it on your cross class whenever you like that's great so level 3 already so given that perfect dodge is on some major cooldown, I'm going to move it to my additional hotbar. Okay, so let's now go look for the Poogles. It's because I'm, I'm getting experience for killing the mobs, but I'm also getting extra credit for the hunting log. And as I said in my other video, I do recommend you do these when the level is still relevant. get you used to the style and always be ready to dodge attacks as well well I mean if this goes quick enough I might actually be able to do the level 5 quests very shortly after this episode Okay, so I'm getting about 130 experience per fish. So I'm just going to keep killing these, might as well. Let's check where else these are. Lower Lenosia, Lower Lenosia, Goblin Fishers. I really should have live streamed this, but never mind. Okay, so I'm gonna. Oh, there's a fate. That's the one thing, actually. Getting to level 10 is very, very fast when you do it as a fate. Sorry, when you do fate grinding. Have to be careful, though, because these are kind of difficult. Oh, one thing I completely forgot is you can use your. Chocobo summon. Let me get my Chocobo out. And I've also got all these poisoning potions as well, so I should really start using them. 
potions, equip my potions, 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 potions. That's quick. So, where is it? Here he is. Don't put that over there. So remember that you can use your Chocobo Companion to fight alongside you when you're leveling up. So let's see, Gust Slash delivers an attack with a potency of 100 and it's comboed off a of spinning edge. So this is one, then two, so yeah. So yeah, so far so good. So I'm gonna go turn in the quest now, the Rogue's Guild. Probably quicker if I just teleport there. So I guess this might be a combined unlock and do the level 5 quest all in one video because it's so fast. Okay, so Ifanair, Fisherman's Guild, I think that's the closest one. And it's important to do the quest every five levels because you will get the a weapon which will make your fighting power a lot. It'll just keep it up to date basically rather than having to constantly buy new gear. It's only really at 20, 30 plus that you really have to worry about um, upgrading the gear yourself. Okay, so let's turn this quest in. So he says, done with your mullen, are you? You can never have enough blade practice, lass. In fact, I'll even add a list of marks to your hunting log. Pick yourself against the lot and you'll soon learn some new steps for your dance with the daggers. Um, aye, you must think of yourself as a dancer, not a bleeding butcher. You only need so much force to ram a short blade into the hilt. Uh, precision and speed, that's how you get the most out of your stabbers. Bulky armor will only have you plodding about an ungainly arok. Arok? Whatever that means. So make sure you're wearing gear, what will let you move freely as well. well I mean, I'm wearing a mini skirt, what else do you want? Um, all right, get your blade work up to scratch, Mithri, and I might have a job for you. Okay, so let's complete. So the next request will be available from Jack upon reaching level five. Cool. So for now, I'm gonna just end the episode there and we'll come back at level five and level 10 every five levels i'll make another mini episode for the rogue story really so the episode more is i'll give my advice about how to level up a class quickly along the way and you've seen already i'm already level four just like in the space of uh, let's see 20 minutes but of course the first 10 levels are always incredibly easy compared to the rest so yeah so um i will see you next time probably very very soon it'll probably be like today to be honest given the speed so anyway goodbye from me and goodbye from mifri